Hello there, welcome everybody. It's Diorama Don here. Um, and the subject this time is just a very, very simple um, collapsed building. Um, it, 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 it is extremely easy to make. Um, it's just a little bit fiddly, uh, j just making it look um, making it look good with the bricks and the uh, uh, cornerstones, the coins and uh, uh, the cobbled street. So it takes a little time. Uh, you could go out and buy a plastic kit uh, if you wanted, but where's the fun in that? Uh, <laughs> you can uh, make and paint it in, in a couple of hours, but at least with this you spend some time actually making it. More of a model maker's uh, video this. So with my uh, trusty half track there, Okay, let's get into then the video and I will show you how I went about making it. So I want to make this as, as simple as possible. So all we've got is just a corner of a building like that uh, with one complete window and one uh, uh, bombed out window at the top there. So no doors, no roof, no, <laughs> no nothing. <clears throat> So as as simple a building or remains of a building as uh, as is possible really. So I've cut it out of uh, two millimeter cardboard as usual. Um, you could use thinner because we're going to stick it onto polystyrene anyway. So um, it doesn't really matter what the thickness of the cardboard is. Um, but it's it's better to to use cardboard rather than using uh, just the surface of the polystyrene. OK, so uh, I put that on there and used one of these uh, polystyrene cutters. Uh, the, the wire heats up and, and you cut, cut around. <clears throat> you can use a knife, of course, and uh, this is going to be uh, roughed up anyway uh, to, to, note, to denote the broken wall. Uh, so that will stick on there and this piece will stick on there. Of course, that's going to be narrower take the thickness of the polystyrene so that will sit like that okay so that that's all the building will be but we can make it a lot more interesting with moldings so I'll stick my bricks on there all over uh, these bricks that I make from um, wall sorry from floor <laughs> from tile grout um, I've made many uh, videos now in the past showing you how I make these uh, small bricks from uh, tile grout uh, easily available from any DIY store and uh, just mix water with the powder and uh, in, in an hour you can mark out the shape of the bricks and the size of bricks that you want which is important because uh, if you're working in 135 scale, they need to be about that size. Uh, six millimeters by four, something like that. <clears throat> Very small anyway. Uh, so when there, I've got another batch uh, drying now. I shall mark those out and then stick bricks all over. Uh, but then after that, then I can put moldings. There'll be cornerstones down here or uh, coins as someone informed me they're called coins down here and there'll be uh, moldings along there and under the window and the windowsill uh, just to make it look a little more interesting than, than just um, as it is so I'll stick all this together hot melt glue should do it and then uh, I'll put my bricks on and then we'll go from there so I stuck my cardboard to my polystyrene and picked on the edges just to make it look a lot rougher. Uh, there will be um, broken bricks on there later. Uh, but I've given it a coat of um, wall filler, uh, which gives it uh, a better base for either painting or for laying bricks, which is what we're going to do now. So all this is going to be brick. Uh, and then I'll put my 
uh, other mouldings over the top of the brick. I think that's the way to go with this. So what I do, if I can show you, PVA glue, a little bit at, at a time, like that okay then put a few bricks on here then what you can do and it's not going to work I know it never does work on camera uh, stick the point of a pointy stick in the glue and you can pick it what did I tell you <laughs> it always works perfectly well out on my workbench but never in here there there you go you can pick up the bricks and place them if they don't break like that otherwise it's very fiddly and tweezers are not much better either There we go. You can pluck, can you see what I'm doing? <laughs> oh dear me. There we go. <laughs> it's better if I put them there. Okay, let's try again. A bit more glue, not thick enough. But lots of glue. <laughs> there. Then dip your stick in the glue and pick up a brick like that still can't see I'm determined to make this work all right so A slight gap between each brick and keeping them as straight as possible. I'm not saying that this is easy, <laughs> as you can see, and it takes a bit of time, but the results are worth it, believe me. Oh, we're going great guns now. See what I mean? How easy it is <laughs> when when the bricks stick to the glue. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. But I, I found that's the way to go with this. Picking them up with a little bit of glue on the tip. Oh, drop that one. One more. There we go. And you, you need to, to get them straight and placed in the right place because it dries very, very quickly within two or three minutes and uh, you won't be able to move those bricks. So I will persevere over the next seven days. <laughs> No, it'll, it'll take me an hour, maybe, something like that, to, to, to cover the whole area. Uh, and then I will go over with a grey grout, uh, a floor tile grout. Uh, you've seen me use this before. And that will go in between the bricks and it will, uh, it will darken these red bricks a bit. Uh, but it will give the mortar between the bricks and show, show the, uh, the mortar between. So I'll go ahead and do that, finish off my bricking, and uh, come back, and we'll do the next bit. So <clears throat> I'm all bricked up now, and it did take about an hour. Uh, it's a, a painstaking job, one brick at a time, but um, uh, it's worth it in the end, I think. So. Uh, it doesn't matter that much about this external corner, <coughs> corner because I'm going to put uh, cornerstones uh, up, up there, which I've cut out already. So again, a bit fiddly. 
uh, but pieces of card and then cut a mitre on one. <laughs> can't see. Uh, where is it? Yeah, <laughs> cut a mitre uh, on one edge and then just put a chamfer around the other three edges to make it look like a dressed stone. So when that goes there, that's a short one and then a longer one with the same chamfer, sorry, it's same mitre, will butt up to it like that. And then the next row will be a, a shorter one this side and a longer one that side. But you'll see when I've, I've put them all on. But again, just little pieces of offcuts of cardboard. And, um, and, yeah, and you can make the moulding look quite impressive, I think. And then there will be like something like that under the window sill. Under the windows to make a window sill and then something around the edge like that. So that will be the mouldings. But first of all, I need mortar between my bricks. So I've mixed some grey tile grout, a uh, little bit of water to powdered tile grout. And, uh, oh, it's gone, to <laughs> it's gone a bit thick. Just one moment. Ah, the magic of video editing. I just had, a, had to had to add a little bit of water because it does dry out quite quickly. So I need to splosh this all over my brickwork now. I need to do a little bit again. And then when that's on, it will fill in between the bricks. Uh, but then I'll get a damp sponge and just take the top layer off to reveal the bricks again. So I'll go ahead and finish off all my mortaring. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll paint the whole thing actually in this, this grey grout and then uh, stick my corner um, coins on, cornerstones, and then uh, we'll see what it looks like then. Okay, so my bricks all dried. I put my mortar between uh, between the bricks that dried then I put my bits and pieces of two millimeter cardboard and I think you'll agree that that, uh, that has made it look a lot more interesting to look at uh, especially these um, cornerstones it just uh, sets the building off and uh, on the edges what, what I would normally do is, is just sprinkle broken pieces of uh, floor tile uh, floor <laughs> tile grout the the same stuff that I make the bricks uh, a lot of them break up and you can just sprinkle those on the end but I, I made a bit of an effort and put uh, put whole bricks in there and then uh, sprinkled just a powdered uh, stuff of grey and red grout powder in between okay so that looks uh, a lot more realistic I think Okay, so that's the bit. Oh yeah, and a window frame, uh, just from a popsicle stick, lollipop stick, and uh, the cross piece is, is a, a toothpick, and then a little piece of uh, see-through material for the for the broken glass. So that's the the building finished. Okay, I know it's a lot. It's a lot of work for for a, a, a small uh, building. And you can buy uh, plastic kits that will do just the same, but it, it's it's <laughs> uh, it's it's the principle of the matter. Uh, for the sake of a couple of pieces of polystyrene, a little bit of cardboard, and a little bit of um, tile grout, um, then you, you you can make it for pennies. If, if you buy something like this, it's, it's going to cost you a few dollars, a few pounds, and you've still got to glue it together and you've still got to paint it. Uh, but you, you have the satisfaction of knowing that you've, you've made this from scratch. I know it's a lot of fiddly work putting the bricks on and putting all these on. It's, um, it, it's time consuming and fiddly, but I think it's worth it in the end. Okay. 
in. So that's the building. So I've made a base for it. Uh, this The building will stand on here and this will be a, a cobbled road as usual. Um, for this area I've, I've well, um, I've, I've put this piece on here because the path will go around here and the building here. So this, this piece will go on first. So I've got a shuttering then uh, because the the sides come up two millimeters taller than the than the base. So I've got shuttering to put my uh, tile grout on there to make the to, <laughs> to make the cobbled street. I hope you're following this. There will be questions at the end. Um, so what I need to do is put my tile grout on there now. Uh, allow that to dry for about an hour, a couple of hours, and then mark out each uh, cobble. Again, it's time consuming and fiddly, but worth it in the end. Um, but then, when that is done, this will all be level. Uh, so to get a raised path, then I need another piece of card. And I've already marked out uh, with a sharp knife the... Uh, the uh, paving slabs uh, just cut one way with a knife and then the other and, and take out like a groove and when the tile grout is dry then I'll put that on there then that will give me a lift up to the path from the street onto the path and then, and then that will sit there okay so I'll do this uh, I haven't brought my uh, Oh dear, one moment. Okay, I've got a specialised tool for getting this out. 12 inch ruler. So, I thought so. It's gone a bit um, dry. So this is tile grout mixed with some PVA glue and water until it's, uh, well, until it looks like that just pliable enough if it's too wet it's going to take forever to dry so I'll keep it as dry as I can and that will go I haven't got enough of this area now it's a bit <clears throat> a bit messy this job, but uh, it's a bit like um, icing a cake, I suppose. Not that I've ever iced a cake. I think I've just about got enough. So now that's on there like that. I'll wait for that to dry until it's just not sticky anymore. I can lay a ruler on it and it, it won't sort of stick to the ruler. After an hour, hour and a half, and then mark out the cobbles. And then I can put my path on and my building on and that will be it. So I'll come back, well I'll finish it off now and I'll come back and um, I'll show you the finished thing. Okay, that's it. Uh, project finished now. Um, I marked my cobbles out into my tile grout that I laid uh, when it was uh, partially dry. And, it, and it's still a little bit wet, really. should wait a little bit longer, but uh, you can just see the cobbles there. They could perhaps do with a few different colours on a few of the on a few of the cobbles, the same as I've done with the the bricks on the house, just a few slightly different coloured ones. Uh, but um, I think you get the gist of the matter. 
So with my, and yes, my famous trout truck, and I still haven't found the other wheel. <laughs> it's in here somewhere, but I'm damned if I can find it. Uh, so there we go. Uh, I think that sets a mili any military vehicle off quite nicely. Uh, if you're interested in the street lamp, I did make a separate video on how to make a street lamp like this. Uh, so please look that up if you're interested. A uh, bit of rubble uh, lying all around the place, as usual. Uh, again, with uh, tile grout. Tile grout for the, for the cobbles, tile grout for the bricks, tile grout for the rubble. Um, yeah, that's, that's um, a pretty, pretty useful stuff, <laughs> for me anyway. Okay, so enough talking. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, please have a go yourself. Uh, let me know how you get on. And um, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, YouTube have been changing things around a bit on uh, on their, uh, what do they call them? Logarithm? I don't know what they are. Uh, it means that I don't get anywhere near so much money that I did do, which was pitiful enough as it was. <laughs> and now I'll get even less. Uh, so I don't know what's happened going on there. Uh, so yeah, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends, get them to subscribe, get your family to subscribe and we'll all be happy. Okay, thanks again for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, if you click that notification bell, you will be informed when the next video comes along. In the meantime, thanks for watching this and I'll see you in the next video.